level area and lay out the body of the tent on the ground. Stake loosely if there's any wind. Build your pole set by connecting all the segments and ensure each section is seated properly. Place the separate green cross pole aside and arrange the pole set so the anodized pole colors connect with their matched color webbing. Insert locking pole tips into the four corresponding grommeted corner anchors and then attach the inner tent canopy to the poles using the pole clips. Place the separate green cross pole above the center ridge pole and snap the pole tips into the ball cap end fittings on the sides of the tent above each door. Next, cover the inner tent with the rain fly, keeping the vestibules lined up with the doors and pair all color coded webbing. Locate the SQ ring fittings on the inside of the fly and attach to the ball cap fittings above the doors. They'll snap into place onto the outside of the fitting. Secure the poles to the rain fly with the internal Velcro pole wraps. Locate the webbing straps on the corner of the fly and use the side release buckles to clip into the anchor webbing. Moderately adjust the tension in the fly using the webbing straps and ladder lock buckles, saving room for final adjustment. Position your tent as desired, preferably with the pole structure at the header foot of the tent facing toward the prevailing wind direction and stake the four corner anchors. Secure anchors by placing the anchor loop around a stake, pulling moderately, and pound it into the ground with a hard object. If the ground is too hard for stakes, you can tie anchors to rocks or other heavy objects. For final tensioning, stake out the vestibules and pull firmly on all adjustable corner anchors and tension lines for a tight setup. Add guy lines for additional strength, as a properly tensioned tent ensures maximum water shedding and wind resistance. 